Well, about four or five years ago, I was very much into my family history and doing the research on that. And I got a lot of family photos that were all in black and white. And I saw that somebody had colorized one of their family photos online. I thought, I saw that, I liked it, I wanted to do that. So I figured out how to do it myself. And I started colorizing all my family photos. Eventually I ran out of family photos to colorize and started doing more general history related photographs of stuff in Canada. One of the first things I need to do when I get an image to colorize is to make sure that that image is in good shape and the quality is good. So that might involve uh, adjusting exposures, fixing scratches and so on. Then once I've got the photo at a quality that I think is going to be good for colorization, I need to do a little bit of research perhaps on perhaps what uniforms are in the picture and so on. Then it's a question of adding the color in. And the process for doing that is basically adding layers of color in on top of the photograph. Well, the Vimy Foundation contacted me about a year and a half ago and they had a plan for uh, colorizing a lot of World War I photographs to try and make them more uh, approachable for people to help people relate to those photographs by the addition of color. So we did a few photographs uh, to start with and they were happy with those. So we've just finished a set of 150 photographs that are going to be put into a book. Hopefully they will be released uh, soon. And then some of those photographs have been blown up and uh, printed on panels and are on display in Ontario at the moment. And that exhibition hopefully is going to come across the country in various cities.